Ronnie, and this is part of the new fresh fruit and produce program that's going on. Today we're at Springer Middle School celebrating our school lunch heroes. We're for School Nutrition Employee Appreciation Week and School Lunch Hero Day. From the get-go, we realized we're a pretty high free and reduced district, um, so we knew that we would need to get food to these families who can't provide it for their children um, when they're not in school. So we have many kids who, you know, get their nutrition while they're in school, while they're in the buildings every day. So we needed to be able to continue that while the schools were shut down. And even from the very first day we started feeding last March through today, we see high numbers, high families coming out to get meals. Um, so it's been a consistent feeding process that we're happy to be a part of. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, see you next week, be safe. We have um, feeding at all of our 15 school sites and they do weekly box at three different service periods. So we do a morning, seven to eight, we do a noon time, 11.15 to 12.15, and then four sites have an evening meal pickup from 4.30 to 6 for families that work during the day um, and can't leave the house for those other two servings times. So in addition to that, we have six um, bus routes that go out in the morning and then again at noon time and visit the same stops in the neighborhoods and give families the boxes there too. How are you? As part of our celebration today too, we are we hosted a book signing with a local Delaware award-winning author, Jennifer Antonic. So she wrote and illustrated um, in English and Spanish a children's book about um, one student who goes through and learns about the process of the boxes and then at the end hosts a parade to thank the school nutrition workers and the school staff who made it happen. <laughs> Through every sort of change that's been thrown at them, they've had a great attitude. They've been laughing and and you know having a good time today, even though it's downpouring the rain while they're serving. So that just really makes it all worth it. And they've had such a positive attitude. And really, the bottom line is they know that they're here to feed the kids, and they will do it in whatever way possible. So we really just thank them. We wouldn't be able to do it without them. Our program wouldn't be what it is without them. So we're really thankful for our heroes.